So in this video, we'll look at the combustion reaction where we have ethanol plus oxygen that gives us carbon dioxide and water. So this is combustion. Sometimes you'll see ethanol written like this here. Other times it's written C2H5OH because the OH group here and here, that's what makes it an alcohol. So if you can see it written this way or this way, either way, they're the same thing, same number of atoms. So let's balance the equation. We have one two carbons, then hydrogens, we have three plus two plus one, six, and then one oxygen atom, plus these two here. Don't forget those. Those are important. Three. We have one carbon. We have two hydrogens, and then two plus one. That gives us three. So it looks like the oxygens are balanced. We'll see what happens when we change the carbons, because we need to put a two here as our coefficient one times two. So that'll balance the carbon atoms. We need to update the oxygens though. So for the oxygens, we have two times two, that's four plus the one in the water. So now we have five. Let's see what happens if we try to fix the hydrogen atoms. If we put a three in front of the water, two times three, that gives us six. So the hydrogens are balanced, but now we need to update our oxygens again. So now we have Two times two is four plus three times the one, three, that equals seven. So we'd like to get our oxygen here. So we have a total of seven oxygen atoms on the reactant size that would balance the equation. Here's the way I like to think about it. I can say I have one plus some number will give me seven. So one plus six, that would give me seven. So I have one oxygen here. If I had six here, that would give me seven. So I could just put a coefficient of three. So one plus this two times three is six. That equals seven. So this equation is balanced. It's a little bit of a tricky equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CH3, CH2OH plus O2. You'll probably see this as C2H5OH plus O2 as well. Thanks for watching.